some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today's video was sent to me by a subscriber. I very much appreciate it. But at any rate, uh, we find ourselves in a courtroom where a uh, sovereign citizen uh, had, owes a great deal of money to a credit card company and, well, really doesn't put up much of a defense for himself, which is rather unusual for a Sovtar to do. I mean, they at least try. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. No, I think I got you the right case, Mr. McCardle. Thank you, Judge. Hey, no big deal. Do you need my appearance? No, I'm trying to get, we'll, we'll get in a minute. Trying to get Mr. Uh, 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 Campbell connected here. Okay. He's still connecting the audio. And here we go. Hello? Hello? What is your name? My name is Marcus. Marcus Campbell, trying to check in. All right, turn on your video. Let's get started. We are on the record with file number 22186783, JP Morgan Chase Bank versus Marcus Campbell, date and time for pretrial appearances. Good morning again, Your Honor. Jim McCardle on behalf of JP Morgan Chase, P number is 82443. And your name, sir? I'm named for the record is, uh, I'm the authorized representative here on special appearance the director and the beneficiary of the legal name of Marcus Campbell. Are you Marcus Campbell or not? I am. You suck. You are the suckiest soft art that ever did suck at being a sucker. Uh, you do realize that uh, you just, uh, well, shot yourself in the foot. You're not supposed to uh, give your actual name when you're a soft art. You do realize that, not within the first few moments of the uh, hearing. I mean, uh, you just failed at being a soft art overall. You must be new at this. All right. Where are we on this file, gentlemen? Well, Your Honor, I filed a motion for summary disposition. Um, I, I've received a notice from the court saying that this was a final settlement conference, but I was hoping that the uh, court was going to take up my motion for summary disposition. I've not received an answer or any kind of a, uh, responsive pleading to my motion for summary disposition. Uh, uh, there have been numerous filings by the defendant, virtually none of which I understand. Um, so that's as far as I'm aware what the status of the case is. And that's saying something, Softard. If a uh, actual lawyer can't understand your, uh, well, ramblings on these uh, filings, well, that really says something about uh, how much gibberish it is and how nonsensical your stupidity truly is. So in other words, it's uh, legally a bunch of bullshit. Mr. Campbell, did you receive his motion for summary disposition? I have sent a brief. I sent sir? a brief to the courts. Sir, are you listening to me? <clears throat> did you did you hear what I just said? No. I just answered, I answered. I asked I you sent if, a brief. I asked you if you received his motion for summary disposition. Okay. Yes, I have. Okay. So then I'll just calendar it. That's all. Is there anything else outstanding? Not that I'm aware, Your Honor. Anything else outstanding, Mr. Campbell? <laughs> yes, I do have something. What I did that? respond. I did respond to the courts and to the complainer okay but before before this matter go any further i would expect 21 days and it provided proof of claim of evidence of the legal and lawful authority of this the public to bring this to me okay sir you can file whatever motion you want right now i'm going to calendar mr mccardle's motion for summary disposition that if you want, you say you filed an answer to it, we'll be prepared to go forward then. The motion for summary disposition, gentlemen, will be heard April 10, April 10 at 11 o'clock. Thank you, Judge. Thank you, gentlemen. We'll send out an order and let's be safe. Thank you. You have a nice day, Judge. All right. Thank you for coming in. We're off the record. Now let's see what happens uh, all those days later with this uh, total solve tard. Hello? Good morning, Your Honor. Good morning. Marcus Campbell, are you there? Yes, sir. 
All right, turn your video on. We are going to call file number 22186783, JP Morgan Chase versus Marcus Campbell, date and time for a motion for summary disposition. Could I have your appearances? Of course, Your Honor. Jim McCardle appearing on behalf of JP Morgan Chase. Bar number 82443. And your name, sir? Marcus Campbell and special appearance. Mr. Uh, McCarl, this is your motion. Yes, Your Honor. Uh, Your Honor, we uh, had issued demand to the defendant on March 15th of 2022. Uh, receiving no answer, we then filed suit against the defendant on May, 15, May 13th of 2022. Proof of service was finally obtained on uh, September 26th of 2022. The answer was filed on November 14th of 22. And then we subsequently filed our motion for summary disposition on 12-15-2022. Um, a series of responses, as it were, were filed, the last of which is um, a response to plaintiff's counter defendant's motion to strike, in which the defendant has a number of things, but the, the chief among them, in paragraphs five and six, the defendant agrees with our motion, uh, the allegations in our motion, that um, he's in default, uh, and that there is currently due and owing a balance of $18,610.79. And um, then in, he, he, in paragraph eight in the our motion says defendant's answer, answer fails to refute the obligation of the plaintiff. The response is defendant counter plaintiff agrees. However, defendant counter plaintiff's pleadings are not redundant, immaterial, impertinent, scandalous, or indecent in manner. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, yes, so uh, more incomprehensible, soft hard gibberish that not even lawyers can understand. Yeah, this is where we're going with that. So I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean. The, the upshot of this is, Judge, oh, there's one other thing. Yeah, he, he, he suggests in uh, his paragraph 1E that my client is um, practicing law without a license. Well, we're here on behalf of our clients, so my client corporation is not acting without an attorney. So that that's irrelevant. So basically what I'm asking for is judgment in the amount of $18,610 and 79 cents in essence, because the defendant has agreed that he owes the money. Mr. Campbell, your response. Well, there is one thing that bothers me. I mean, uh, at this point, the soft hard definitely uh, says he owes the money, which is rare for a soft hard, but, uh, why, why is he in court? I mean, does he want to find a way out of paying this $18,000 back or uh, something to that matter? I mean, you've already admitted that you know you owe the money. I mean, at this point, uh, yeah, why are you even here? I disagree, and I stand on my brief. And you stand on your pleadings? Okay. What you say? All right, the court's prepared to move forward in this matter. This is a motion for summary disposition filed on behalf of plaintiff and notice for hearing today. Plaintiff's motion for summary disposition was filed on December 15th, 2022. Following that date, the court's register of action does not appear that there any pleadings were filed by the defendant. Michigan court ruled 2.116 G4 is relevant here. A motion under sub rule C10 must specifically identify the issues as to which a moving party believes there is no genuine issue as to any material fact. When a motion under sub rule C10 is made and supported as provided in this rule, an adverse party may not rest upon the mere allegations or denials of his pleadings, but must by affidavits or is otherwise provided in this rule, set forth specific facts showing that there's a genuine issue for trial. If the adverse party does not so respond, judgment, if appropriate, shall be entered against him or her. No response was filed to the plaintiff's motion for summary disposition. However, in his earlier pleading, which is really not relevant because there's, uh, they were not, again, filed in response here, the defendant admitted that he owed the money. So that's going to be it. Court finds there is no general issue of material fact. Plaintiff is entitled to summary dispositions prayed for under MCR 2.116C10. Mr. Campbell, you have an absolute right to appeal my decision. 
That appeal must be perfected in 21 days today in the Wayne County Circuit Court. Mr. McCarver, do you have an order? I do. I believe one was attached, Your Honor, to the. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I Your Honor, should I should I submit another order? I was not aware that you had taken this case over for Judge Giles. Do you want me to submit uh, an order with your name on it? Uh, actually, it really doesn't make a difference. It'll come to whoever issues the order. Okay. All right. Thank you both for coming in. Thank you, Judge. Be safe. What was the point of this whole thing, Softard? I mean, you admitted to owing the money. Uh, which basically means you took responsibility for it, and yet you still uh, decided to take this thing to court and didn't defend yourself. I mean, was it your intention to waste people's time? Uh, yeah, this this was just... Uh, I don't know what to think about this idiot. I mean, he must not have had anything better to do than just, well, sit around all day and think, oh, yeah, how do I... Uh, disrupt the court system or something like that. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, no matter how unusual it was, and I will see you on the next one.